We've told you about the bike shortage created by the pandemic and made worse by supply chain shortages. That's because nearly 99% of the world's bikes are made in China. Alexa Liaco found when one American company decided to bring manufacturing home, it was tougher than they expected. This place has people who know how to manufacture. If there's any part of the country that could bootstrap together a, a place to do this, it's, it, it, you know, it might be here. In Motor City, a city known for Henry Ford, is a factory producing frame is complete pedal power. That's kind of where my heart is. I like the idea of you powering, you know, your vehicle. Are you on to mediums today? Zachary Pashik founded Detroit Bikes 10 years ago with one goal. The hope is that there's an advantage to domestic production. He's fighting to bring bike manufacturing back to the United States. This is really about the American middle class. We need to have this kind of work here. 30 years ago, companies sent bike production mostly to Taiwan and China to cut costs. Then in 1996, the U.S. eliminated bike import taxes, giving even more reason for production to remain overseas. President Trump did reinstate the tariff, but it hasn't yet been enough to create a large-scale shift in production. When an industry leaves a country completely, uh, it's really hard to fire that back up. It's not just like turning a machine back on. Zachary has struggled to even find machinery in the United States. Yeah, I now have to go over there to even get the machinery. So I've got this domestic production facility now and, and my machinery is in Mandarin. So with machines from China, Detroit Bikes is building bike frames from scratch here in the United States. So this is the raw material input. Some policymakers might might really believe that people don't want to do this work in this country, but I, I think that they're wrong. I think that if they came to a city like Detroit, they would find that this is work that people really do want. And they're very proud of the, this work when they do it. It's kind of neat, really. You know, you, you know that you you did it <laughs> and somebody's enjoying your work. It's work bringing skilled labor jobs back into this community. I like to see bicycles being made in the U.S. again and Detroit even better because that's where I am. And you make the best bikes? Oh, yes, in my opinion. <laughs> the team has to use parts from overseas to assemble the bikes once their American-made frames are finished. If I wanted to buy a tire in America, I couldn't. America does not currently make bicycle tires at all. Um, wow. And so, yeah, most of, I mean, that's sort of the, the thing that makes this business difficult. But Zachary hopes change is on the horizon. That's always been a challenge. You know, being the first kind of company or person doing something, has uh, you know, a lot of limitations that come with it. Uh, but I think over time that'll change. It's a change that may take generations. You know, you can't really avoid a global supply chain completely right now. But a change, Zachary believes, will leave this nation not only with more success, but with more community. What we're trying to do is kind of just chip away at it and, and bring what we can back. And there's just something really satisfying about that, knowing that this building you know, produced an object that's gonna go to somebody they're gonna cherish and, you know, have that connection with. I'm Alexa Liaco reporting.